All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachak, Wadash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel, who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing his truth and sincerity, and also to you women and children, keep on enduring, because these prophecies are coming to pass, and salvation is very near. Okay, for those of you who don't know, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, meaning he exists or he is to be. Yahweh Shai is the name of his beloved son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay, Yahweh Shai meaning he saves or he is the deliverer. Okay, Raka Kodash is spirit holy, pronounced in English as Holy Spirit. This is how you say the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in the Apaleo Hebrew, also known as the ancient Hebrew, aka the Holy Tongue. Okay, I'm your brother, I'm your brother Bashar, and I'm coming at y'all with a, with a quick lesson um, um, dealing with the uh, the women of our nation. Okay, because uh, you know the scriptures speak about it. So, as servants of the Lord, we have to further bring out the vibration of the messages that the Lord is is trying to uh, is uh has written in the in in his word okay has has uh, spoken okay so uh without further ado we're gonna start at the book of isaiah chapter 32 verse 10 slaki verse 9 rise up ye women that are at ease hear my voice ye careless daughters give ear unto my voice and unto my speech okay who is this talking about this is talking about the israelite women Okay, you so-called African American, so-called Native American, and you so-called Hispanic women, and also you women that are Israelites, but be like an, unto the speckled bird, who look like the other nations because they were scattered amongst the other nations. Okay, this message goes to you. Okay, verse ten. Many days and years. Shall ye be troubled, ye careless woman? For the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Okay, all these benefits that this system gives to mainly the the, the women, you know, child support, uh, wick. Um, I mean, the list goes on. I'm not I'm not going to go through the whole list. Um, a lot of these benefits, the Lord is gonna is gonna do away with them. Okay, we, we see a, a, a the the, the um, Esau Edom, which is the so called Caucasian race today. We see these, and you know they run the world. We see them um, constantly changing laws, and and, and 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 there's rumors of them doing away with benefits, so on and so forth, and. The Lord is going to make it to we actually see he hum cutting off all the benefits because there's going to come a point in time where you can go into my last video where he's going to want you to, to receive this device in order to get receive any form of benefit. Okay. So, uh. Again, you can go into my last video if you want to know what that device is. That's another topic. Continuing on at verse 11. Tremble ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and girt sackcloth upon your loins. Okay, so this is talking about the, uh, the women that are out there just enjoying this society you know uh, just being very careless okay and, and just moving with no shame the Lord is, is, is about to bring this place very low to the point where you know you're not going to have a hot girl summer that hot girl summer is going to be out the window man you're not even going to want to think about doing the things that you would do during that hot 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 girl summer 
time because the Lord is going to bring terrors upon this place to where you're going to seek, you're going to want to seek a man for protection. Okay, all that, uh, I don't need a man stuff is, is going to be out the window. And that time you're going to know that you're going to need a man because you're going to need a man for protection. Okay. So the Lord is getting ready to humble this, this place, but he's really about to humble you women because what has happened in this society is Esau Edom has put you women on a pedestal above the men. Okay. And you know what, you know, to prove that is uh, a woman could just call the cops and be like, yo, th this man hit me and he, the, the guy is going straight to jail. Okay. Without question. Okay, the, the, the man can't say nothing. He can't plead his case. He doesn't have a say. He's going straight to jail. And then, you know, whatever happens, happens after, 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 that, after that. And that's just one example to prove that, you know, you women have put been put on the pedestal. Okay. So the Lord is going to, you know, strip you away from your protection, all that. Because what's going to happen is 911 is going to be out of service. These martial law troops are going to be on on the streets. And you're going to want to stay away from them too. You're not you, you're not going to be able to 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 to, to go to them for for, for 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 help. Nobody is. Okay? Because they're going to be just as they're going to be just as cruel as the average wicked dude out there, man. They're not going to be sparing nobody, just like the scriptures say. Verse 11. Let me read that one more time. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and grind sackcloth upon your loins. Okay? You're not even going to want to wear your hair down in in that in that in that, in that time you're, you're gonna have to wrap your hair up because you you don't you don't want to look pretty okay you 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 beautiful women out there man you you're gonna you know wish you was ugly i'm, I'm sorry but that's how it, you know you're not gonna want to look desirable in that time verse 12 they shall lament for the teats for the pleasant field for the fruitful vine, okay. They're gonna, they're gonna, you know, the Lord is gonna cause a famine out here of food and drink. You know, there was a study that the pre shaman out there in the main camp uh, brought up about. There was a study of, of about the monkeys, a study that they put that they um, used on the monkeys. And what they did was they took all the food away from the, 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 the monkeys, stopped giving them food. Instead, they gave them money. They gave them a form of currency to where they can buy food. And what eventually happened was the monkeys started, uh, the female monkeys, to get the money, what they started doing was they started selling themselves so they can go back and buy food, all right? And this is something that is going to happen, you know? This is going to come back, and this is how bad it's going to get, you know? So this is this is just me telling y'all what's how ugly it's going to get. The scriptures describe that this is going to be a time like no other. Okay, so it's going to get really bad. So, you know, with that being said, just turn to the Lord right now while you while the gates of mercy are still open. Because you don't want to, you know, it's going to be harder to turn to the Lord once the Lord brings havoc upon this place. I mean, you thought the last lockdown was bad. Well, there wasn't a shortage of food. Yeah, there was a shortage of 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 a paper toilet or toilet paper, whatever you want to call it. 
But this time, it's a shortage of food. You see it on the news all the time. And it's not just here in America. It's everywhere. It's globally. Okay? Verse 13. Upon the land of the people shall come up thorns and bearers. Slakia. Yeah, upon all the houses of joy in the joyous city. Okay. All right. So that was just that was basically it. Um, I'm I'm gonna end it right there. Um, this is just a quick uh, sounding of the alarm. Um, for the women of our nation, you know, because we always get on the men. So you know, it's, it's it's about time that you know you women hear it every now and then. You know, because again, the scriptures is saying it. So how much more his servants to go out there and proclaim and continue to push what's about to come upon this place. Okay. So with um with that, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha, Kodash, that belongs to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel, who rule well and teach well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out there, pushing this truth and sincerity. And unto you, women and children, keep on enduring because these prophecies are coming to pass and salvation is very near. Okay, this is your brother Barshar. Shalom.